Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you happen to be joining from. Hope you're doing excellent. Hope you have a wonderful day. Welcome to another edition of Cook It Up Revolution. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us. Hope you enjoy today's episode. So to get things started, we are going to pull a card and see what kind of message the universe has in store. What kind of energies are happening? Again, it doesn't matter when you tune in, when you're watching this, whether it be a month from now, a week from now, a year from now, these messages are timeless and will apply to you whenever you happen to be watching it. All right, we got these guys all shuffled perfectly. Let's grab something. All right, so we got the Three of Cups. So now we will refer to our tarot book here. You know, the suit of cups has to do with emotions. Just there. There we go. Okay, Three of Cups. This is a card about shared experience. Three women dance in a circle, perhaps under a harvest moon. With their glasses upraised, they are celebrating the conclusion of something or the mere fact that they are friends. Your own friends are playing an important part in your life. Caring and sharing are involved. You will be invited to a get together for work, sharing a team effort is concluded in victory a group project ends on a high note or the group just enjoys working together the job provides you with a social outlet as well as a work experience you are invited out to lunch or to an after hours party for love caring friends provide you with a shoulder to lean on a hand to hold or a smile to greet you you are in good company your support system sustains you. Someone invites you over for the evening. A wedding reception may be involved. For money, giving. A friend foots the bill for a party, picks up the tab for dinner, or buys you a cup of coffee. You return the favor in kind. A sentimental gift is given. Tokens of affection are exchanged. Without asking, your glass is refilled. After all, this is what money is for. For strategy, socialize. You can never tell when a personal contact will prove useful. Wining and dining is an important part of life. Get to know others on a human level. Mix at mixers, hobnob at receptions, fraternize with peers and higher ups. A little small talk goes a long way to reinforce your image. Well, that's pretty interesting. Pretty relevant to today's topic, actually. You know, you sharpen me and I sharpen you and, you know, we all work together and take care of each other. And I think that's wonderful. So today on Cooking Up Revolution, we're not going to do any, doing any actual cooking. Today, we are going to talk about some safety and about the most important tool in a chef's repertoire, which will be your knife. So we're gonna go over some safety tips and some basic kind of rules to follow and things of that nature. Oh, I'm gonna grab one thing here as well. So there's all sorts of different types of knives here. You know, you want the right knife for the right situation. So, you know, got this guy here. This is my camping knife. This is what I use when I'm out in the woods and out hiking and, you know, it 
I remember back in my day, all the men would always carry a knife, and I don't see that these days. It's one of the most valuable things you can have. You know, carrying a knife could quite literally save your life. This is my everyday carry. It's a nice little guy. It doesn't need to be big. And, you know, this is going to do the job that you need it to do. You know, and this is another thing. It's a nice fixed blade. Those pocket folders they ain't going to do much. And then I got this guy here, which is my, just in case Mad Max shit goes down, something good to have. Even better to know how to use it and not be afraid of it. And we've got our steak knives. Nice serrated edge there. That's what's going to slice your meat for you. Saw it up a bit. And this is just the basic chef's knife. This is uh, just your general purpose slicer and dicer. Go to, use it for pretty much all the jobs. And then we've got a little paring knife for your fine little detailed work. And you know, small jobs need to get in there all nice and Nice and close, and detailed and precise. So now, to get into it, first thing, keep your knife sharp. This right here is called a steel. This will keep you from getting fucked up when you use it properly. Got your knife, steel. Run the edge along it there a little bit. Doesn't hurt to give it a couple little passes before you uh, start cutting your meal. Because you're gonna get cut by a dull knife a lot easier than you will from a sharp one. Now again, gripping it. Most people are just gonna hold their knife like this. And that is not the proper way to hold a knife. Keep your forefinger against the blade and with your thumb. That gives you all the control. You can still stab, stab, no problem. <laughs> but again, proper way, proper ergonomics, it's better on your wrist, it's better on your hands. And when you're chopping with a knife, you don't want to be just chop, 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 chop. You know, you just use a rocking motion. Just let the knife do the work. It should be sharp, but just go. And again, talking about that, know where your fingers are. People go, doo, 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 psh, gone. You don't want that. Tuck your fingers and you're holding your, whatever it is that you're chopping, use your knuckles to guide. And just, psh, 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 psh. Now, some more safety tips. When you're handling knives, after you're done with it, I'm going to say to you, use a cutting board. That's, you know, one of the best things. Use a cutting board. And you also put a wet cloth underneath your cutting board because that will keep it from slipping around and slipping out from under you while you're chopping. Well, just some basic key points. Sink full of dirty water. Don't put a knife in there. Bad news. Always wait till the very end and wash your knives separately. When you're storing your knives, you know, a knife block is your best ideal thing. So I don't even have a knife block. I don't have a knife block. But keep your knives separate. Always keep them aligned with all the handles in the same way so that you know when you go in there and you have your little container that has your knives in it, you got the handle right there. You're not gonna Put reach in for a handle and then there's a blade there ready to bite you. Another key point, to safely pass a knife to somebody, you don't. 
You don't ever pass a knife to anybody, and you don't take a knife from anybody. If someone needs a knife from you, you take a knife that you have, you put it down on a flat, level surface, and you let that person pick that knife up. Well, when you're carrying a knife, you know, you don't just, you know, walk around with it. Keep it tucked against your leg. Keep it down, keep it close. No, and don't be afraid. People are all afraid of these knives, and it's like, it's not going to do anything unless you let it. Another key point. The knife is falling, don't catch it. Bad news. You know, we have this natural instinct to just uh, grab for things. That knife is falling, you fucking jump back. Cause it'll bounce. And you don't want to reach for it, just let it fall. It's fine. Much better to have a damaged knife than to lose a finger or slice a freaking artery. That was just, ain't good for anybody. Yeah. Don't be afraid of your knives. Take good care of them, and they'll take good care of you. Again, I think we should be, uh, you know, carrying our knives. That's one of the best things that you could have, and you can do almost everything that you need to take care of yourself with a knife. But we've become so far removed from being self-sustainable and taking care of ourselves that even just carrying the most basic utensil, you know, it's I got my keys, I got my wallet, I got my phone, I got my knife. We're good to go. Make sure you have that on you. So that was just a nice quick little episode there. A couple little tips and tricks and let you know what you need to make an excellent, excellent meal. So I hope you enjoyed, I hope you had fun. Carry on with your goodness. Be good to yourselves, be good to each other. We're gonna make this shit happen. Mwah.